So I think I found a new outfit for my Skate 3 character. Now the yellow shirt and white pants, I've been using that for a while, but I think I'm going to start repping the Dr. Pepper gear just because it's not really common. You don't see a lot of people with it. And I found a way to get it onto my account now, uh, along with the other Dr. Pepper DLC as well. So I think I'm going to rep the Dr. Pepper shirt and the can hat for a little while. Now we'll be changing the board and the pants and the shoes later on, not in this video, but I have yet to do any of the story mode because this is a new account. But once I start doing the story mode stuff, I'll be able to unlock more items. Okay, let's go ahead and get on with the challenges. And our first challenge comes from Little Paul and it says, Hey man, this is my challenge for you. Triple kick flip under the rails into front flip grind. <laughs> Good luck. I'm French. I really like your videos. Well, what is up, my French dude? I appreciate it. And he sent a video to show us exactly what he's talking about. So the way it was worded, I thought he wanted me to do like a front flip, hippie flip with a triple kick flip or something like that into a grind, make it all with just one big combo. But he just wants a line. Thank you. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a lot harder. But it's still going to be difficult for me because I am not good at doing hippie flips. And he wants a triple kick flip too. Okay. Okay, well, that came out pretty smooth. I'm, I'm surprised at that. And not enough speed or maybe I popped too early to do that front flip into a grind. So that sucks. You know what? Since I'm not really that good at hippie flips anyways, let's go ahead and add on to the challenge and do a, uh, okay, a front side triple flip. Wow. Got that first try. But I still need to get that front flip. I need to get my speed. I wish there wasn't so much space between where I landed the triple flip at and this right here. I wish I could just do it like all back to back without having to push. I really don't like having to push because it just messes up the flow, but that's what I have to do. Now, please, please give me that front flip into my grind. I'll take it. Um, <laughs> yeah, not exactly what I wanted. Let's, let's take a look at that. I was just messing around until I moved on to the next challenge, but that was pretty cool. So our next challenge comes from Iron Skater and it says, just completed this challenge. I spent like two hours on. Hope you can do it. Would love to see a tray flip on it. So I don't think I've ever cleared this stair set before. I'm not really sure, but I don't think I've ever done it for a video or anything. Uh, I want to find a way to make this a lot larger than what it is. Maybe try to clear out into the street. I don't know. I want to see what we have to work with first and do this dude's challenge. And then we'll work on trying to make it out into the street. That is a, it's a pretty big gap. <laughs> I want to have the same exact setup as he did. So I'm going to start on the factory roofs because that's probably going to be the easiest way to get on top of the roof without like any manual pad glitch or anything because I should find a way that leads over there. Like I see a bridge over there and yeah, I think it'll lead straight to where he was. And now that we're over here, let's just pop off of this, see where we're gonna fall at. And that's where we're gonna set our slide. Okay, it looks like it's gonna work. Okay, we got a little bit of speed off of that. And he said he wanted to tray flip. Now I'm really, Bad at doing tray flips. I feel like I would have got it right there though if he didn't want to try to grind the rail. So, and I think I want to try this on hardcore just so he doesn't try to stick to the rail or stick to the side of the slide. I just want to be able to roll away without trying to grind anything. I might be able to do it. I hope so. <laughs> I feel like I got some pretty good speed off of that. Now, we just got a tray flip. I don't know why I popped right there. Maybe because I'm an idiot. Let's do that again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That I knew that was going to be the one before I even landed. <laughs> I 
Okay, I just want to do that again because every time I say I do something on hardcore, someone always says I'm lying about it. So there you go. There's the proof that I'm in hardcore. It's so stupid, but I'm going to change it back to easy for the next challenge because I think if I land down here, it's going to be way too much impact for hardcore. So we're going to do it on easy. And I think what I'm going to do is set up some containers. I might set up like four containers or whatever, just so I can get a lot of height. That way I can drop into a speed ramp down here and I should have enough speed to clear all the way out into the street, or at least I'm hoping so. And I'm just going to use the manual pack glitch. That way I can make it up there to that pipe. Let's go up. Nice. That worked out pretty good. Let's try to hop onto this pipe. There we go. And now I'm going to replace the manual pads with some containers. And right now I only have two containers placed. So let's move over here. Let's add two more, but I'm going to add them sideways because I don't want to go out too far. I want the speed ramp to be right there when I land. And let's just place everything to our marker. So nothing moves out of the way when I crash into it because I'm definitely probably going to crash into it. And let's set this container down here to our marker. Okay, let's try this out. And yep, that's not going to work. It's going to take a couple tries just to land into the ramp and test this out. Now I'm probably going to have to pop like as soon as I land sore like that, but I want to make it out there a little bit further. I want to make it out there to maybe this yellow crosswalk. All right. And nice <laughs> achievement unlocked. Blau. That was, that was the perfect time to unlock an achievement, I guess. So our next challenge comes from Cypress and all it says is water slide for a challenge and he posted a video. So that's actually pretty awesome because I've never thought about doing a dark slide on the water. I think he did it right here. And by the way, for those of you who don't know who Cypress is, Cypress is also a Skate 3 YouTuber. And I'll link his channel down in the description if you want to check him out. So I don't want to do it the exact same way he did. I don't want to go into another rail if I don't have to. I just want to dark slide on the water, then try to pop out on the other side. And I think maybe I can use this to make it work. So let's try this out. I'm thinking it'll still work like this. I'm not using the same setup as he did. But yeah, it looks like it works. Now I just need to pop out and hopefully I can pop out high enough to make it over to the other side. It's pretty cool how he's able to dark slide on the water right there, but it doesn't look like he can only go but so far. Maybe if I got enough speed, he could probably go a little bit farther, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, it looks like he's going to keep bailing at the same place. So let's actually try to pop this time. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to get enough pop out of that. That sucks because I didn't want to have to use another rail. So maybe if I do a grab right after I pop out of the dark slide, I can make it work. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll have to do a melon or something. I really don't know. I really don't think it's going to work though. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. It was sketchy, but I got it. And I got to admit, that's actually pretty sick, but I want to try to do something a little bit different now. I want to try to place this light pole right here and I want to be able to dark slide on the water and without popping up, I want to be able to ride onto this other rail. And I'm not really lined up very well for this, but I don't think it's going to work. It seems like it, if it was going to work, it would have worked right there. So I might have to move that pole a little bit closer because he's bailing as soon as he gets onto the other one. How about right there? Maybe I'll have a chance with that. Okay, let's test this out. Thinking maybe this time it'll work. I don't know. Oh, it does work. Now I just got to find a way to get out of it. That's so cool. Once again, very sketchy, but I found the way out of it. So that's really all I'm worried about. Still looks so sick though. I really like being able to dark slide on the water. 
Very nice. And I think that's going to be it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that bell so you actually get notified when I upload. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.